we're going to start with organized counting. You can illustrate a sequence of events using multiple methods, including a list, a chart, and a tree diagram. Example number one. Abby makes two stops on her way to school. She stops to pick up her friend, Reagan, and then stops to get break breakfast at a coffee shop. There are three routes from her house to Reagan's house and two routes from Reagan's house to the coffee shop. There is one route between the coffee shop and... Finally, there is one route between the coffee shop and her the school. Make a map and a tree diagram illustrating all the possible routes Abby can take to school to determine the total number of possible routes. Okay, so basically we need to take the information that's important. So we would highlight, for example, things like, all right, t makes two stops on, she picks up her friend Reagan, then stops to get breakfast at a coffee shop. So there are three routes from her house to Reagan's house. Then the next thing that we see, we could probably highlight in a different color, is two routes from Reagan's house to the coffee shop. And finally, the last piece of information that was given to us, let's highlight that, there is one route between the coffee shop and school. And basically, uh, what we're doing is getting Abby to get to school using the different routes. So we need to be able to do this two ways, make a map and a tree diagram. So let's start with the tree diagram. So here we go, the problem again, just to have it all there. It's really small here. So the idea is we make a tree diagram and the tree diagram is you got Abby going three possible ways to Reagan's house. Then from Reagan's house there is two possible ways to the coffee shop. And finally from the coffee shop to school there's one way. And therefore there's going to be exactly there are six routes or six ways Abby can take to school. Now if we're drawing a map, okay, essentially what we're doing is going from Abby's house, so let's do this, from Abby's house we're going to draw basically three ways to get to Reagan's house, okay, so let's do it one, two, three. And now we're at Reagan's house. Now Reagan, once Abby picks up Reagan, she goes to the coffee shop. So there are two routes to get to the coffee shop. And then from the coffee shop, there's only one route to get to school. So basically like this. So the idea is we start at Abby's house, we get to Reagan's house. Reagan's house, we go to the coffee shop. To the coffee shop, we get to school. And that, folks, is how we would draw the map. It doesn't necessarily have to look like this. For example, another one was drawn that looks like this. The idea here is that we are drawing a map to get there. And the idea is we have to cover all the bases. So we can even draw a map looking something like this. So the idea is we start at Abby. Sorry, we start at Abby and we get to rate. Abby takes three ways to get to Reagan two ways to the coffee shop, one way to school. All right, let's try the next example. Example number two, a family has five girls, Jess, Jenna, Jessa, Joy, Jill, and Josie. Each morning, there are five chores to do. Set the table, help make breakfast, wash the dishes, put away the dishes, and sweep the floors. Each girl does one chore. Now, what we're going to do is make a chart representing this data. So we're going to make a chart to represent this data. So we're making a chart to illustrate the different options for doing the chores. And the second part is, what is the total number of different arrangements that can be made? So, now what we're going to do is create this chart. To create it, we have to state the names going down one, 
and the chores going along the top. So it's very similar to the one where we have two dice and we're determining the sums. Here what we're doing is assigning the roles. So there are five roles with five people. So each, and we're representing it by saying, okay, if we were to assign duties, we'd say, okay, Jana, Jessa, Joy, Jill, Josie will do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then we go across and we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then basically we continue the pattern Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then back to Monday. And then we continue the pattern Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So the idea is how many total of different arrangements we're going to have for doing the chores. Well, you should figure out that we're going to have 25 different combinations that we can do to do those chores. 25, because it's 5 times 5, which makes 25 different ways we can make the combinations. Moving on to the next part. Example 3. A coin is flipped five times. How many results are possible in which there are no consecutive flips of heads or tails? At least two consecutive flips of heads and finally two flips of two consecutive heads. Alright, so first thing we have to do is draw a tree diagram. And this is going to be a nasty one because again, we're doing it for five coins. So go through it slowly. One coin is heads and tails. The second coin gets flipped heads and tails for each coin from the previous line. The next line is heads and tails, which is from each point of the pre each part of the coin of the previous line, and so on. So you keep going until literally you have all of the different combinations listed. So here we go. That's the fourth flip, and now we're on the fifth flip. And again, this is nasty, I agree, but the idea is, is that we should know how these combinations work. And we draw our connecting lines so that it connects to each one of these. There we go, folks. And basically what we're trying to do now is to do the following. We want to find no consecutive flips of heads or tails. No consecutive means that you go heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, or tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. So basically we've got all of these are not possible because if we follow here, it goes heads, heads. As soon as you double heads, double heads, all of the following branches that fall from these two are not are negated. So those are all wrong. Then we have over here heads, tails, heads. We're okay so far. And then heads, nope. So the rest of that is wrong. Okay. And then finally, let's look again. Heads, tails, heads, tails, heads. So this combo right here down this branch works. So yes, that one's valid. And then what we have is, so we're going to call that one valid now. All right. And we're going to put a little circle to say, okay, this one is valid. We like this one here. No problem. And then the rest of them don't fit, so we keep going all the way across, all the way across, none of these work, and then we go to the other side, tails, heads, that works, but then heads over here, that means all of these do not work, okay, we, so none of these work all the way across here till we get to tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, so this one over here works. So we're going to circle that one that works. Just create our little circle here, folks. Just a second. All right, we just want to get our circle here, make them go here. So that's our one that we want and everybody else doesn't work. So we would say, okay, none of these work and none of these work because, again, it doubles up. So those two are the only branches that if we were to follow it, going like this, heads, tails, heads, tails, 
heads. That one works because nothing repeats. Try this one. Tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. And that one works. So essentially for the first one, there are two, val uh, two possible cases in which in which there are no consecutive flips of heads or tails. So there's two. Next part. Next part is to read the second part, which says at least two consecutive flips of heads. So the first, sorry, one more time. Part A says no consecutive flips of heads or tails. We saw there was two. The next part is at least two consecutive flips of heads. So again, we look at our tree diagram and to find at least two consecutive flips of heads. Heads, heads means that everything under this heads is all valid. So the reason all of this is valid is because again, when we look at questions like this, we're looking at answering the question. So all of this is valid because it's two heads and that means at least two heads, that means everything else is valid. The next part you're to do is to look at the next thing, heads, tails. We know that's not a double heads, so we keep going. We go over here and we see heads, heads. Well, that means because we have the double heads, one after the other, these two are valid. So again, we know that when we're counting it, we have this branch that is valid. Are there any more branches? Now it's starting to get a little bit ugly, so what we're going to do is check them off. Check, 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 and check off all the ones that are valid, all right? And the next one that's valid is, let's see, over here, okay, that one, and then the next one is valid, and then the next one after that is not valid, folks, okay? It is not valid. So we need to go through all of the ones that are valid. This one over here, we're looking down here. The reason it's not valid is it goes heads, tails, heads, tails, heads. So this one is not valid. And we're going to have to put an X there. I'll put it in red so you know that one's not valid. And then the next one, tails, tails, heads, tails, heads. That one is not valid. And let's go to the next one, heads, heads. Yes, that one is valid. So that one is good. We will check that one off. And the next one, tails, heads, tails, tails, heads. That one is not valid. And we cross that one out. Then we got heads, tails, 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 heads. That one is not valid. And then we go again, tails, 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 tails heads. Nope. That one's not valid. So now we've finished all the branches where the first start was the heads. We go to the other side. Now we have heads, heads. Yes, everything here is right. Heads, 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 heads. So we have a double heads coming up from the top. So that makes this one valid. The next one valid because we have three triple head. We have a triple head here, a head, head. So anything under this H will be automatically valid. So we have the first four are automatically valid in the next tree. Then we go tails, heads, and we go on to the next part, tails. And the only one that could be valid is if you had a double heads. The only way we have a double heads is a heads and then heads again. So this one is valid, but everything after that is invalid because we do not have a heads, heads. Now, next one across, we have, let's see, tails, tails, then heads, heads. Heads, heads will give us these two, which are valid. And then after that, heads, heads, this is heads, tails. That one doesn't work. So the next two do not work for sure. And then we try again. Tails, 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 heads, heads. That one will work. 
and then we look at the next bunch and those do not work. So we're going to put X's to indicate they do not work. So folks, now we have dealt with the entire branch. How many all together are in consist of two consecutive flips of heads? Well, we would count the number of purple check marks. So we go through this and we look at all the purple check marks, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It looks like there are nineteen consecutive, two consecutive flips of heads. Let's do that in blue. Nineteen all together. All right, so now that we've gotten 19 for at least two consecutive flips of heads, we're looking at the last one where it says two flips of two consecutive heads. Two flips of two consecutive heads. What are we looking at when we see that? So we need to have two sets of double heads. So four heads, or uh, two of them are doubled. So let's look over here. Heads, 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 heads two flips of consecutive heads. In fact, here we have more than two flips of consecutive heads, okay? But here we have exactly two flips of consecutive heads. So when we're looking at questions, it doesn't say at least two flips of two consecutive heads. We want two flips of two consecutive heads. So in fact, two flips of two consecutive heads means that only this one will make it valid. So only the T will make it valid. Again, you have to re be very careful. When I say two flips of two consecutive heads, means I only want two, not more than two, not less than two. So two flips of two consecutive heads, the first one is invalid. Next one, two flips of two consecutive heads, no problem. Here's two heads, and then if we go to a tails, we need to have a heads head. So here that is right here. So we have two cons again two consecutive two flips of two consecutive heads. All right. And the next one that we have that happening is again when we have a heads um uh, possibly we have heads 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 all the way down. So the only time that I see a heads 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 coming down is if we had tails coming first, and that would mean this one would be valid. So none of these, so this is our heads, heads, heads here. And then anything down here doesn't work because we don't have four heads in a row to be able to look at this. You need to have heads, heads at least. And then over here we have two. Let's go over here. Two consecutive flips of heads, two and two there. That is valid. And another time we have two consecutive heads is, uh, let's see, is there any other parts where we have two consecutive heads being flipped? And I don't see any coming down all the way down the tree. So we, the only possible cases we have is heads, 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 and we have heads, 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 two consecutive flips of two consecutive heads, I'm a little worried about this H being there only because that's actually another consecutive flips of heads and we may not be able to count that as valid. So two flips of two consecutive heads means that there should only be three valid answers for this question. All right, so three possible cases of two flips of two consecutive heads, at least two consecutive flips of heads, and no consecutive flips of heads or tails. So it's really, really difficult to read tree diagrams. So there must be a better way, and we're going to see in this chapter a better way to calculate all of these values without actually having to draw two tree, a bunch of tree diagrams. All right, folks, that's the end of the lesson. Have yourself a numerical day.